I'm with Stan Gellman, lawyer in Mississauga. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon to you, David, and welcome to my office. I'd like to inquire today about spousal consent required on the sale. When do we need it? When don't we? You will always need spousal consent for a married couple. And I want to stress the word married couple. Sometimes the uh, matrimonial home will be in a one spouse's name alone. Even notwithstanding, you still need the consent to complete the transaction of both the husband and wife. However, if it is a common law situation, the law is different on that. A common law spouse has no property rights with very, very rare exceptions. Accordingly, if the property is in one common law spouse's name and not the other, the common law spouse who is on title can sell the property and to keep the proceeds without the consent of the other common law spouse who is not on title. What happens in the event of uh, assets that are held in a corporate name? Sometimes people think that they can avoid the designation matrimonial home by putting the matrimonial home in the name of a corporation. You can't hide behind what we call a corporate veil or a corporation. If the property is used as a matrimonial home of a married couple, and I stress the word married couple, then simply by putting it into a corporate name does not avoid having to have both spouses sign their consent to the sale. Stan Gelman, lawyer in Mississauga, can be reached at 905-270-5110 or you can check his website at wiselawyer.ca.